Hey everybody, I got one more vlog to throw at you before Christmas because I got to see an advanced screening of Concussion. This movie was directed by Peter Landisman and stars Will Smith, Albert Brooks, Alec Baldwin, and Gugu Mbatha Ra. And in the very likely event that I am mispronouncing her name, I apologize. Smith plays Dr. Bennett Omalu, a Nigerian immigrant with more degrees than I can count. This guy is extremely well-educated and is currently working as a medical examiner in a morgue, and he ends up examining the body of retired football player Mike Webster, who suffered a very tragic death and had many mental health issues leading up to it, despite appearing otherwise perfectly healthy. And after examining Webster's brain, Omalu discovers that he was suffering from a condition that he calls CTE, which was a result of repeated head trauma during his days of playing football. And as more players start dying way too young, Dr. Omalu discovers the exact same symptoms in their brains and realizes football is quite literally killing these men. And with the help of a few of his colleagues, his work is published in a medical journal which scares the ever-loving shit out of the NFL, as you might imagine, and they race to discredit him, even though it's pretty clear he's right. First of all, this movie is very well acted. Will Smith was excellent in his role as Dr. Omalu. I was a bit nervous going into this because the last time I saw Will Smith trying to do a foreign accent was, well... After Earth, and we all saw how that turned out. Uh, fortunately, this movie is not After Earth. It's much better than that. His portrayal of Dr. Omalu makes him a very likable guy. He is just so fun to watch, whether he's awkwardly flirting with his soon-to-be wife. Man, I thought I was bad at flirting. No, no, no. This guy is awful. <laughs> but, but their relationship was actually very charming, despite the awkwardness, or perhaps in part because of it. Uh, I loved watching him work with his uh, patients, I suppose. I, he would call them patients, but I don't know if you can really call a dead man a patient, but whatever. How he would always talk to them before he begins cutting them open and ask them to help figure out what happened to them and why they died. It was just very well done. I liked Alec Baldwin as Dr. Julian Bales, who is a former NFL team doctor who is now working with Omalu on his studies of CTE because he is tired of seeing far too many of his friends die young. And the guy who plays Mike Webster, David Morse, he's only in the first act of the movie, but he is really good at playing this tragic character, and it's really hard not to feel bad for the guy. He is just such a mess, and it's a very good performance from him. The story in this movie is just fascinating stuff. I'd heard a little bit about CTE here and there, uh, not so much from watching football, although I do watch football, but mostly from all my years as a wrestling fan because the pro wrestling world has been very paranoid about concussions in recent years, especially since the Chris Benoit double murder-suicide. And in fact, the character Alec Baldwin plays in this movie, Dr. Bales, the real Dr. Bales was the one who examined Benoit's brain and found out just how messed up he was. And I really thought the movie did an excellent job of making CTE I keep calling it that. It stands for something, and I forget what it stands for. I'll put it down here. But they did a very good job of making this disease easy for anybody to understand how it works, what it does, and all that, without actually dumbing it down. Just very nicely done there. And you will definitely not be a fan of NFL management after watching this movie, because they do not let them off easy at all. Oh, boy. I did have a few problems with this movie. Uh, in particular, there were a few moments here and there that seemed a little too Hollywoody, if that makes sense. Like when Dr. Amalu is working as a medical examiner, one of his coworkers is just constantly pissed off at him. I guess because he's too cheery or because he talks to the patients and that's weird or something. It just always riding his ass Really for no other reason except that the first act needs a villain until the NFL finally shows up. That's pretty much it. And later on in the movie, when one of Omalu's colleagues is indicted by the feds for seemingly bullshit charges, the FBI agents that show up to formally charge him 
have the most ridiculous looking scowls on their faces. Just Just the whole time during that scene, they're trying way too hard to look angry and menacing, and it just looks silly to me. And it's moments like these where I wish the movie would just get the fuck out of its own way and tell the story, because like I said, this story is fascinating. I love this stuff, and when it works, it works very well. But there are just several moments like that where it trips over itself. And the really unfortunate thing about this movie, which is not entirely its fault, but I've already seen this before when it was called The Insider. Jeffrey Wigand, Dr. Omalu. Lung cancer, CTE. Tobacco industry, NFL. It's the exact same story, almost to a T. And while I will admit it's been a while since I've seen The Insider, I saw it back when it was brand new, which was like 1999, 2000, somewhere around there, I remember it being a much better movie. And it actually seems like Concussion is aware that it's an inferior version of The Insider because they directly mention the investigations into the tobacco industry. They might as well just wave a big white flag that says, we're a remake of The Insider! But to be fair, part of that may just be that these two stories are very similar, and if that's the way these events happened, there's not a lot you can do about that. So how am I going to call this one? I'm going to say it's worth a rental. I don't think it's necessarily worth spending money to see this in the theaters, but it is worth seeing one way or another because, like I said, this is an incredible story and very fascinating stuff, and it really should be seen. Even if you don't watch the actual movie, I encourage you to look into the work Dr. Amalu has done on CTE because it is just brilliant stuff, and also very scary at the same time because of the sheer number of players that could be potentially impacted by this. And if nothing else, you get to see Will Smith act his ass off. Can't really complain about that. Whether he's gonna get an Oscar nomination out of this, don't know, but I'd say he's got a chance. And that's about all I have to say about Concussion, so if you thought I was too long-winded when talking about Star Wars, well, you're welcome. So until next time, take care.